They'd clear the way to the front gate. Ren pulled on the door, but it wouldn't budge. Locked! Locked. <laughs> like that's gonna stop. Oh. My time to shine! Tora rushed to the door and pulled out a tiny toolkit. Don't think we're fooling for that again. I got your back door, you can get us in there. Everyone hold off the demons watching for us. I like the idea that the kind of lock that this door is locked with is the sort that a tiny lock pick is going to fix, and that their combined strength could not just could not open. open much faster. <laughs> I believe, sure. like, Emukiki leaning hard. <laughs> it's... Emukiki is basically a door. It, yes. <laughs> Dora cursed her tools in the door behind them as the demon's heads began to roll. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Just run it back. Oh, well, this will be quick. Oh, yeah, we probably won't even need to rally. So I'm not even going to worry about charging up Loren. Oh, uh, she might have another one later. Let's let's give it to her while, she, while, while we don't have anything to worry about. Fair. Uh, now go with the high hit point one. I think? I think so. To uh, knock him down so our mages can... Fair. Average oh, wow, team. they just got into a row, too. Yep, yep. Uh, we tangle two of them... Um, it's like eight, no, like five hundred, significantly less. Yeah, that's that's our yeah. last one. And that was fire. You're in a row, so that gets pretty. Yeah, that is a good chance of killing water guy. Oh, eight hit points. Oh, he's on fire. He'll die. Yeah, he'll die. Next turn. Yeah. Um, Amokiki goes, then the Earth Kingdom? Yep. Okay, well, there's not much we can do about that. Unless we want to defend. Defend. Give them the. The two demons are going to go, they'll knock a bunch of hit points off. Good call. Um, alright, so Loren is up, so if we take that shot, we can just kill it. Yay. Quartz! Hooray! We found a rock! Yay, rocks. Yay. Loren's sword glowed brighter with every hit. And she suddenly staggered. What's wrong? The magic of the magic of the sword is growing too much for me to handle. It was glowing. I just noticed that her eyes are a different color in this art than they are in her character art. Are they? I think so. Because hmm. her eyes are like bright blue. The blade was almost too bright to look at directly. Lorraine had to drop her other sword and grasp it with both hands just to remain in control. The encroaching demons seem a lot smaller than they did previously. Maybe Lorraine's just growing. Mm, maybe she's a giant woman. Yeah. Hesitated, seeing the sword in her hands, she raised the ember blade above her head and the light surged through her. Saren almost dropped his own sword, watching her. Dude, hold on to that, dude. The demons screeched and started to flee one by one, but a few dared continue forward. Of course. Swiftly, the run brought their blade down and cut through the empty air. The blade sang. It created a shockwave that jetted straight toward every demon ahead of her. They all died on contact. This is the part of the D&D campaign when your, your character who is the chosen one and like 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 which we decided was the GM character, if I recall. Mm, yeah. And people are starting to get bored by the like grindy they're like, Oh, that's the demon army and you fight all the demons and then you fight even more yeah, demons. Then, and yeah, then. Then there's more demons, but yeah. this time Yeah, but this time and then and then people are like, Oh look, look man, I gotta fucking work in the morning and you're like and then uh but 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 and then uh she raises her sword and there's a shockwave. And it seeks out the demons and kills all of them. But she can only do it once. Yes. So now, Bossa. A click from behind startled them. All done. I told you I was good at locks. All the demons are toast now anyway, so... <laughs> right? And it also undercuts what the, what the PCs are doing. <laughs> right? It's like, oh, and then you uh, then you pick the lock open, too. And they're like, oh. Okay, sure. Huh? 
How did you do that? Yeah, see, her eyes are like super blue in this. Yeah, my I think that her it's uh, line thickness with the mm. blacks and the probably. Yeah, I I don't know. It it felt natural. <laughs> that was not natural. That is not a natural sword, phenomenon. The sword gave me that magic. You were chosen by the gods for a purpose, and they have given you the power to see it through. And this is where the DM is like. Having a conversation between his two... Uh... Yeah. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Lorenz swallowed and stared at the piece of metal. She'd finally come to believe everything Mirth and Apollo Show had told her about it. It truly was a divine instrument, and her path was clear before her. A terrifying roar was heard from the skies again. Oh, shit! Passive voice! Sorry. <laughs> 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 the Drake shit that thing's gonna land quick everyone inside the keep instead of just fucking killing it right doesn't look very scary they've, 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 they've lost the depth and it's definitely well and it's definitely a Drake and not a dragon right yeah yeah like this is quite clearly not a dragon yeah. dragons have legs mm-hmm this one I guess it slithers. Yeah, I guess yeah, it slithers a, or flies. Flying, yeah, this is a flying snake. Um, the flying monster swooped down. If I don't narrate this, what am I doing? Yeah, and easily plucked up soldiers. Its cry was deafening, sending the whole city to its knees. Point of order, can it pick up soldiers and roar at the same time? Also, does it have ears? Are those ears? Are they like airfoils? D dual purpose? Sure. It won't shut up for long enough for me to get a good shot. Bring it down, and I will take its head. Don't be greedy, Nomad. We can share. God, those guys probably have such a cool bromance. Right? Like, they're totally yeah, they're, on the they're, same they're, wavelength. They're, well, they're like Legolas and Gimli. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, Ramus could be like that if he wasn't too busy causing HR problems. <laughs> the Drake threatened to keep once more, striking at its parapets and effortlessly knocking apart the stones with its talons. It does not have talents. It's just there's two little things to get out of its wings at the top. Jesus. The chunks of wall fell dangerously around everyone below. Loren, what should we do? Loren growled and charged out from the safety of the keep. Saren started to follow her, but Loren gestured for him to remain? Here I am, demon beast. Come take me. She yelled at the circling drake, and it responded with another screech. Saren tensed, realizing just what Loren was doing. Sure. The drake flapped its mangled wings, kicking up dust all around Loren as it hovered in front of her. She swallowed nervously, but trusted in the power of the sword. She ran at the drake, screaming a war cry with the ember blade held high. The drake received her calmly, only bending back slightly to prepare an attack with its jaws. This is not how I would describe any of this things happening no Ooh. Loren dodged its attack and, and, and got in a heavy strike on the drake's head right across its eye it wheeled upwards in pain sending down huge gushes of wind and almost knocked Loren off her feet next moment it thrashed down and grappled Loren easily everyone watching gasped and then <gasps> looked up the grapple rules for this edition <laughs> Every time one of my players uses the word grab or grapple, I'm just like, oh, please no, please no. And they're not even that bad in 5th edition. The drake shook her once and threw her to the side like a doll. Saren's heartbeat was frozen until Loren finally started to move. She wasn't standing up. But at least she was alive. Save her. Saren pulled out his sword and ran right for Loren, commanding everyone else in the party to rally to her as well. The drake slowly turned and prepared to attack. Watch out for its fire breath! Shield yourselves! Fire? Sarah caught the whirling behind Draco's eyes and it frightened him. <laughs> Ooh, an effect. And just as Apollo Mich Michaud said, the drake blew heavy streams of flames from its nostrils and into the path of the party. They all stopped, barely dodging the attack. 
I never think about dragons breathing fire from their nostrils, but I guess that makes as much sense as breathing it out of their mouths. More in a way. Yeah, right? Like, that makes total sense. I guess it's also, like, um, a lot of the dragons that people have interacted with in D&D lately have, been, have breathed lightning. Mm. And I, I, I always have this, like, strong imagining of, like, a beam of lightning. Um, mostly influenced by Final Fantasy, I guess. Whoa, careful! But Nostril seems like an odd choice. They made another dash for Loren, who's now starting to show signs of getting up. We have to get up to her quickly! Leave me, you louts. Drake whipped around, his tail swinging aggressively. I'll buy you time. This is so dramatic. Saren snapped his attention to Draco, standing squarely at the demon. Standing squarely at the demon. Preparing a magic spell. The Drake bent its neck, ready to attack once again. Draco! No! It was too late. The beast fired its hot breath right at him. Draco was standing still as a rock, but it was difficult to tell where his magic ended and the Drake's breath began. What's he... What's he doing? I, I can't really see. Being immune to fire. <laughs> Saren was about to jump to help Draco, but Apollo Macho slammed his staff into his chest. Oof! He's buying us time! Don't make this in vain! He contemplated running away er, away with Loren and everyone else, but the heat from the flames were unbearable, just from where he was standing. Draco wasn't safe. <laughs> no, there's a dragon. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he is engulfed in dragon fire right now. <laughs> the drake stopped breathing, and Draco lowered his arms from his face, and then collapsed onto his hands and knees. His robes were charred black. Drac! Before Saren could even finish his name, the demon clamped down on Drago's torso, and his cry pierced everyone straight through. Oh no. Loren shouted viciously and ran past Saren with her weapon. The world had slowed. His hearing failed. Draco. 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 Ah, fight! Fight! Come on, Saren! Saren regained just enough focus to pull out his weapon and kill the monster that did this. Boss fight, Drain Drake! I, why do you keep forgetting about the accents? Uh, I don't know. They're fucking horrible. Uh, no, because, like... Okay. I think it's because they're so natural that yeah, you, you, you no, forget that's, to that's notice pretty, them. Right. They just they blend in so well. So, Paul Show, you're in, and who's our... I think we wanted... Anger Man? Yeah, sure, Anger Man. Yeah, Batman. We don't have Loran and we don't have Draco. Alright, so this has 1200 hit points. It is resistant to fire. It is critically weak to dark magic. And water. Yep, this is gonna be easy. <laughs> 20 damage. Get angry. Time for Demon Four! I'm angry now. Yeah, protective. Uh, it is not immune to slowing. So I feel like that's a worth a shot. Um, what's the... Is it... Does it change the percentage? Does it just get better? Uh, yeah. 60, okay. 60 versus uh, yeah, okay. 30. Yeah. Oh, Savage is life. No Alright, so we've got fire, earth... And paralysis, which doesn't work on bosses. Yeah. 52 is its top damage. Oh, no, it's like it works like Draco's. Yeah. All right. Uh, hers do not work like Draco's. Yeah. So, level 3 dark magic. Kiki. Saren. Yeah, I just, I guess, just hit it. Ooh, ooh, Jesus. Ooh, ooh. Okay, we're going to bring up Mirth. Yeah, we are. And then he's going to tear into that guy. All right, so what do we got here? Hits a full row of enemies. No. It's a single target for 45% um, if they're not a boss. Minimum damage. Yeah, this is the one we want. It's yeah. going to do 107. His irregular attack does dramatically more than that. Yeah. Okay. What is uh, what is the superpower? It just uh, fear. Mm. This is your end. Uh, 
yeah, Just chomp again, or yeah. Yeah. Uh, Kiki. Uh, all right, Mirth. What do we want Mirth to do? Mm. Like throw a heal in the front row? Yeah, make sure Mesfit doesn't drop. Because then Saren can, when when Saren gets a chance, he can, he can raise, bring up some other probably people. Probably going to have to bring up Mirth again. But realistically, like, we're still doing fine. Like, we're on track yeah. to win this. Yep. <laughs> Mirth back up. Yeah, we're just going to pick her right back up. Uh, he turns back. What's your hit against him? Oh, oh that's yeah, terrible. No. Yeah, no, you need to. You need to be a demon. Turn turn into a demon once again. Even though you're oh. probably yeah, going to fall down. Uh, Guard? Uh, who do we guard? Oh no, I mean like shield wall. Oh yeah. All right, so uh, maybe more through damage. Uh, get maybe try for that entangle again. Uh, yeah, oh, never no lucky. Luck. Uh, all right, raise. I want to try Kambara, I think. Yeah. She's got dark magic, right? So she does a bunch of damage. Yeah, I think, but I still think um, Demon Guy was doing more. Yeah, you're right. He's got more hit points, And too. he's got more hit points and it's a percentage of hit points that come back. Um, Mirth, just chuck a potion. Right? Like, we've got, like, medium healing potions. Jesus. Misfit needs to turn into a... Demon and, and then drop die. again. Jesus Christ, so arduous. At least Amukiki's not going anywhere. Punch for now, right? Like we're oh, we're, at, we're at, a, at a juice. We're at a juice. So drink some juice. One of the big medium purples. What? Get them hit points and magic points. That's not what those do. Oh, what are the three? They resurrect. Oh, resurrect. Okay, yeah. So yeah, give them give them lots of juice. All right, so we need to introduce new people into this equation, and I think Mirth is the new people we need. Yeah, okay. Uh, this is 40. We can go to 30. Yeah, it seems irrelevant what her hit points are. Because she doesn't have enough to matter. Uh, shield wall again. We need that defense, and it's quick. Yeah, but it gets to go so many times before she does, right? It's also healing, eh? Oh, jeez, is it? It has more hit points than it did. Oh, dear. Well, that's bad. Uh, I'm just gonna chug a potion. You're not gonna... We could raise people. Like, we could... We could... You do have a lot of these. Yeah. We, we could bring all... Like, we could really quickly bring our whole team back up. Alright, let's start with... Mara. Uh, you Sam. need to heal real hard. Yeah, we go to the level three. We'll yeah. figure out the rest later. Oh, God, yeah, like it just does so much damage, right? Yeah. And yeah, it's it's recovering hit points every turn. Um, you need to heal yourself, otherwise you will die. All right, so. Um, let's try yeah. him. He's still alive, which means he can use a potion to res somebody else. Um, let's get Mirth up. Mm -hmm. Saren to. I don't even Keep know. somebody alive. Giant Drake's about to go to quote twice. It's just gonna kill everybody. Yeah, restart. Hit res. Um, I'm unconvinced that restarting will help us, but let's do it. Do, yeah. Do we? Well, it's yeah. Do we get? My question is, do we get to repick our party? Uh, I don't think so. Mm. I don't really think we we have a, a, a much better party comp for this either. Uh, no. My argument is that our um, our big our wizards aren't helping us. What we want mm. is our archers. Mm, we fair. want single target. 
We yeah, have that's a true. single target. That's our, wi- true. our wizards that can kill like empty a field do no good. So let's 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 try and survive this segment. All right. So, Saren doesn't have enough juice to do anything, but he can but apply can, a potion. Yeah, apply a potion, give him lots of healing. Oh, that was not worthwhile. Nope. But Mirth is still alive. Uh huh. And we can get him to bring back. Um, again, Saren can heal himself. Yep. Jeez, he's just oh, drops him every time. Yeah, um, he's just he's, he's too just... he's too weak. Yeah. Uh, there we are, joined by surprise Marine. Oh, internet, meet Marine. All right, there, so uh, yeah, yeah, this thing is four levels higher than than our tank. Yeah, let's let's just punch until we die. Like, we're not beating it. It's getting stronger every every round. We're just burning resources, failing. But what happens if we scare it? Uh, its defense value is reduced. Okay. For two rounds. It's not really... Good. Okay. So... Well, if we've got more damage, that might be worth it next time. What do we do? What's our move here? Like, what's our play? I think our play is to lose. Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to think. If there's another thing that we can do. But I guess not. It's literally getting stronger. Yeah, it, it, it's beating... Oh my god, we're alive, though. Yeah. Well, sometimes it bites us. Shield wall up. The music just abruptly changed. No, oh, weird. I'm trying to figure out why Mirth doesn't ever get turns. She must have used a really slow thing. Sure. All oh right. yeah, I better heal everything. Everybody is slow. Oh yeah, it probably is. All right, so what's our plan? Do we want to our plan. I I think our plan is to lose. Like when we we're potioning as fast as we could. Let's throw a group heal. Oh, oh well, maybe yeah. yeah. Right, like we're in pretty good shape. Okay, so let's let's scare him again. It does successfully. Okay. Because what I want to try and do is get an. I think I think if we can get an entangle line, slow him down a bit. Yeah. Let's see if we can keep a, a demon boy alive because he's the only one that actually does any damage to this guy. So we need him to stay alive long enough to. Healing potion. Oh no, he's only got one. Hundred and that's nothing. Yeah. That is... Yeah. So yeah, welcome to the Red Amazon Princess. Largely, largely what we do is look no, at no. cute boys with abs and uh, aggressively click on things. Yeah. Sadly, there's been more clicking as of late. Mm-hmm. Have you considered the reason you're losing is because you're fighting something with keep and none of your armor? We have considered that extensively listen, in previous episodes. Listen, all right? <laughs> abs are important. Like, look yeah. at these look at these wonderful boys. Yeah, I, I think... all right. Yeah, all Mirth wears is plants. <laughs> oh, no. We determined... She's not, in fact, wearing those plants. She is the plant? She is a plant. Oh. Yeah, I don't think that winning is a thing that we can do. I think that we are dragging out the inevitable here. Okay, let's restart. I think, yeah, I think we are wasting time. No, it just opens us right back up with our... Okay, right. so... Okay, so, new plan. Keep Demon Boy alive. Yep. Use Emukiki to protect us and debuff the dragon. Okay. And that's about it. All right. Sounds and good. And Saren doesn't uh, have a super important job right now. Right now. So we're just going to get a shot on. And turn into a giant turn demon. Into a horrible demon. Who also, you'll note, has sick abs. Yeah. So yeah. Emu Kiki. Mm hmm. Not for elves. <laughs> it's so great. Watching someone experience this for the first time. There's way too many elves in these guys. Like, they're just at the wrong, like, part of his body. Slow? Slow. I just want to point out that we have been... No, other one. We have been playing this game for 30 hours. Yes. Oh, we got that slow. All right. Now, All right. Paul on the show. He is critically weak to... Oh, we can... He is critically weak to ice. But you don't have ice. No. 
Um, is paralysis? No, no. Paralysis super doesn't work on bosses, right? There's we no don't have way. anything useful we can do to our friends with him. No, you just gotta. Well, he's yeah, he's immune to paralysis. Okay. All right. So yeah, he is. So it's basically meteor swarm. There you go. Yeah. Oh. All right. I'll let you take over. All right. Kambara. Dark magic. All right. Now we want to get that debuff. Yeah. Yeah, 100% chance. What? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, Still? Minor minor potion on uh, on our friend, the demon. Let's just keep him healthy. Yeah, we have 30 of these. Yeah. Oh, right. That's well, what happens. I forgot about that. That's is there, there, was nothing, there was nothing saving that, though. Yes, there's nothing we can do about that. All right. All right. So what we're going to do... Let's use the potion res because it's faster. And he now does that thing where he the the bitey heals him. How much does it heal him? Does it increases his own HP by fifty percent? So of the he'll get stone. fifty hit points back. That's pretty good, though. Yeah. Oh, if it's not a boss. If it's not a oh bullshit. Die. Okay, so <laughs> po potion potion Kambara. Uh, I was actually thinking, if oh no, it, it, no, if if the dragon breathes on Mirth, she dies. Yeah. So it's either protect, further protect, um, demon or yeah, no, bring it's... Kambara back up and hope that she gets to live. Um, and Mukiki. Yeah, it's starting to fall, so bring it back up. Because Saren just lost his. Yeah, and now Saren's got. A thing. So Mirth can get the back row heal off. Yeah. So we can get a little heal on our boy here. Yeah. Um. Still just as scared, so I guess punch him. Is he scared? Yeah. Still too oh, bad yeah. scared. Oh yeah. 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 So, hit. What do you do? Heal Kambara, heal herself and Kambara. Yeah. Oh no, wait. The dragon kills them no matter what. It's yeah. not worth healing them. It's only worth picking them up. Yeah. So um, damage. Slow. I'll yeah. try and renew it. Yeah. 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 And then there they go. They're down. Yeah. I think the slow is what's really going to make the difference in this fight. All right. So bring Mirth back up. We were complaining earlier that the fights have become very samey. Yep. All right. Uh, All right. So, so yeah, now just, that we know that that doesn't do lots of damage, we just jam in, um, keep him up. Um, uh, ooh, uh, shield wall. Yeah, his whole job is just to defend everyone. Ooh, he might need to drink a potion or bring Mirth back up. Uh, Saren's getting really low. Mm. But Saren does get to go before... Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, like, they all get to go. Emukiki gets to go a couple of times. Let's get Mirth back up in case she gets... Yeah, she does get to go before him. Alright. Demon do demon things. Oh, I just think so many hit points. Um... I think we're doing better than last time, though. Right. Um, or does he... You want to try and get somebody else in this initiative order? There's... Not him. He does the least damage. Yeah, Kambara. No dice, but he might just bite the front row. Demon back up. Uh, Heal himself. Yeah. Saren dying is bad news, bears. Okay, we'll do a medium yeah. because we're going to hit the whole front row with Mirth. Yeah. On her next turn. God, who knew this game would be so strategically involved? Is he scared? Oh shit, no he is not. Alright, um, let's make him a feared. Bring back up Mirth. Yeah, we're like, establishing a cycle, feeding our druid constant potions. Um... Uh, there's a lot of cycle left. We might get Kambara into that, into this. 
Uh, well, the drake's kind of turned. Oh, weird. sorry, I didn't see that. Yes, no, they're all gonna die. Okay. Yeah. So I guess punch him, or or heal. Um, yeah, let's heal our boy. Make sure that boy never falls down. Oh, yeah. look at that. We're so close. Let's just go in. I think we still need to be careful. Oh. No. Oh. The kill oh. shot. Woo. Yay. Oh, God. We got actual loot. Yeah. Plate, plate leggings, leggings of legends. Uh, sure. Yeah, tank, tankity man's putting those on. All right. The drake gave one last screech before it spiraled downwards in a bloody heap. Everyone watching could not believe the sight they had just seen. Fuck. <laughs> but, but was it flying when you were hitting him from the ground? Yes. Uh, we dragged it to the ground. But then it still spiraled? Yes. Yeah. Um, the soldiers cheered with relief. Saren, however, dropped his weapon and ran back to Draco, still lying on the ground. The wren rushed along with him. Draco's skin was red and scorched, and his robes were burnt. Draco, wake up. Get up. Saren was too traumatized to form words at the terrible sight. Loren tried to call to him. Draco was still motionless. Why did you do that? What? what literally, what are we going to do with that? You, you're the primary damage dealer in this party. Loren's voice peaked, and she wiped at an eye, mumbling something about selfishness. I like to imagine it's not her eye. It's just an just eye. An eye. She's, she's just one of the ones. You that... slave, come here! <laughs> I've experienced this... sadness for me! <laughs> <laughs> the night beside the campfire flashed before Saren's eyes when Draco felt something that something had bad bad was gonna to happen to them. Saren promised nothing would. He was wrong. He was so wrong. Saren dove down and pressed his forehead against Draco's still warm body. Because he was burnt? Yeah. <laughs> he, was, he, was, yeah. <laughs> he was drained and exhausted, but performed healing magic like he had never performed it before. Which is really, really, you should perform it <laughs> in like, private. We or, have, or with all of the experience and expertise you've developed over the long years of training. But we've also Not established like that complete... Saren's expertise is in sexual healing. It's, yes. <laughs> from, from the first... The, like hour of this game, there were some oh. strong implications that he's, yes, yeah, he, he serviced to the uh, uh, Amazons uh, extensively. Oh, okay. Yes, the light yeah, from his magic was so cheeks. bright that even Loren had to look away, startled from the intensity of it. The rest of the party members gathered around as Saren spent his last drop of will on Draco, <laughs> and Draco's chest heaved upwards and fell. If Sar Saren was able to recognize that his breathing had been restored shortly before he himself lost consciousness. Loren orchestrated their safe passage to the keep and soft beds. <laughs> Saren woke not much later, though just as battle-worn as everyone else. His first thoughts were of Draco, and he searched for him quickly in the keep. The soldier pointed him to the right direction, and inside Draco's room he found the fire's mage asleep but alive. Emotions Saren had never felt before flooded his mind. That is a sentence a robot would write. <laughs> Visual novel by predictive text. Yeah, pretty much. He used his training from the Citadel to bandage and treat Draco's wounds. Because nobody else no. had? No, apparently <laughs> not. Chucked him in a bed and like, I'm Well, this is the dwarves, right? They're like, put that fucking elf in a room. Well, what? He's going to need medical treatment and he can fucking walk it off, can he? Boy's got legs. Two feet and a heartbeat. He didn't have a heartbeat a second ago. He's getting better by the second. Yeah, there you go. Already seen improvement. Good job. A plus. Good talk. In the midst of it, however, Loren entered the room quietly. Uh, my mother has returned. The Citadel is safe, but at great cost. More we reason to win the next battle. Like we didn't win this one. Saren was unresponsive. Apollo show has called us for a meeting. He looked up at Loren and promised silently to return as quickly as he could. So, question. No matter... So so we picked Draco as our romance option. Like, okay. 20 minutes before you got here. 
If it had not been Draco, if we had picked somebody else, would they have gotten flambéed? Probably. Hmm. Why do the ladies not have abs? Oh, no, no. Women don't have abs. It's impossible. It's no, a, no, it's just... Yeah. It's a physical impossibility. Yeah, um, either oh, also, or muscles. Yeah. Either oh, yeah. Also, no, my understanding no. is they, they like, um, get oxygen through, uh, like, sort of a gill system in about this yeah, area. Yeah, through their skin. Yeah. yeah. But, like, only really this area. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah It's important. Just, like, yes. Lorena's Loren the strongest and most powerful warrior on the planet. Um, Which is why she only wears armor on her shoulders. But she face. also doesn't have any muscles. I'd also like to find a long cloak that kind of just stays on my hips like that and doesn't fall. That yeah, is, no, pretty we're good. pretty sure it's stitched on. She's never changed it. Oh, no, she has Velcro. Mm. Yeah, it's like on both hips. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's natural Velcro. Yeah, oh. A- Amazon Velcro. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's one of the things that makes Amazons distinct from humans, which we have established in this game they are. <laughs> yeah. Because of the Velcro. Yeah, those women, not human. The the two people, uh, this the, the Saren, our boy here, half human. Um, this guy, all human. He's 26. His All humans look like really this. He's far down his body. Yeah. Princess Loren! Queen Karen! Saren. <laughs> <laughs> We've made some choices. I'm very happy with them. <laughs> you know that I and others have already fought Frost in the past. I wish to share with you now all that I have learned from that time, because I didn't feel like bringing it up before now. Except for all the times he brought it up before now. Also, does anybody remember the divination shit we were doing earlier? Did anything come of that? You haven't told us anything yet. No, no, some of it was too painful to remember. Sad old man eyes. Oh. Saren wondered if he were speaking of his lost child. But now is the time to know, because we are so near! I'm in fact a suit of armor with a beard! (laughs) (laughs) Tell us, wizard, we're listening. As you know, Frost Alaga is the spirit of a long-dead warrior inhabiting his old suit of armor. However, he is not a typical demon, nor simply undead, even a whisper of a ghost. Then what is he? He is a true death knight. He has been reborn corrupted by dark magic in its rawest form in the Inferno. Our world was once ravaged by his kind. Uh, we, we're all keep, capable of believing that, knowing the damage he has caused. Also, you told us this earlier. Uh, also, what does that mean? How do we kill him? Point being, how do we kill him? You cannot kill the embodiment of evil like any common beast. It's more complicated than that. We killed a death knight like two days ago. Everyone's throats went dry, hearing the dread in Apollo Michaud's voice. I did not know during this during the old war. None of us were aware of the depth of evil we were facing. But I have spent every year of my life since the day of Fost arm the day Foss's armor fell apart in researching his nature. What? Oh, I see. Yes. Um, Everything I have learned has led me to believe that when anything dies, a rift to the Underrealm is opened, and that is where our souls go. I have cosmological questions, but I will withhold them for the moment. The stories about life after death, are they true? I do not believe what lies in the Underrealm can be called life. It is the realm of non-existence, and we need Frost to reside there permanently. Yeah. Sorry, I had to put my glasses on. <laughs> Underrealm? No, there is Inferno, and there exists Elysium. There are only the, those are the only two places one can go upon death. I understand you've done a lot of research, but let me tell you why I'm right. <laughs> Nothing in my research can account for their existence. It may, in fact, be a frame of mind that you can achieve. I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> Why are we talking about this? Well, I don't know. Hold on, are you saying that Foss didn't truly die when you killed him back in the Old War? No, none of us thought he did, actually. We, yes. uh, that's why we tore the armor apart and we went on this giant quest to prove that he had been put back together. He's like a Lego. Wait, are we fighting a Lego man? Yes, but one with the glows inside his head. It's true that I had, he was removed from our realm. I had a friend in school who had a Lego man like that. 
but his soul is still unbound from death. We must find where his true spirit is hiding and eject him to the under realm where he belongs. Unbound from Death is my homeward bound sequel that no one wants to watch. Oh god. <laughs> the time when they all left for to go to grandma's funeral and they forgot Kevin behind. Oh, God. It's Home Alone. Different game. Different movie. <laughs> yeah. Home, but Homeward Bound was two dogs and a cat. <laughs> yeah. Finding their, way, finding their way to the like a family that moved. Oh. Um, I'll do whatever it takes. He can't terrorize the world ever again. I find it very bothersome. <laughs> Mirth will find his location with her divination and we will crush him. It's not so simple. Most divination can only search this realm. Oh, God, we gotta go to another realm. There's gonna be another map, too. Oh, my God, we're going to go to the crotch of the afterlife. <laughs> we're going to go to the under realm. All this talk of realms. I have studied the theory of realms for many years, but they are still only theories. Hypotheses, really. Um, theories are borne out through extensive evidence and testing. So I gotta level would bother you. I sound like this at D and D sometimes. Like this is this is pure wankery. I wasn't going to bring it up. But <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> right? It's like, let me explain to you the cosmo. We just wanna get the thing done. See the the important difference here is when you explain the cosmology, you're like, this is actually how the cosmology works. Not <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Although I do believe we have spent an extended session talking to some university <laughs> professor wanking about his personal theor unproven theories. <laughs> At least one. <laughs> the most important discovery of the theory of realms has already been proven in the last war. My daughter discovered it fighting a companion death knight to foster Laga. That is when I get my best series, too. Mm -hmm. I, I like the notion that his daughter was such a proficient, like, Hermione Granger type that she did the research. Like, like she's, like, working on the battlefield with, like, a magical chalkboard and, like, dueling a death knight with a wand while figuring out the, the, w what was going to be the final phase of her thesis. <laughs> What discovery was it? Death itself is the gateway to the Underrealm. That doesn't fucking mean anything. It means you ought to fucking die. Faust has escaped death, so he's inescapable of dying. The door to his death has been permanently closed. To send him to the Underrealm, we would first need a gateway. The group was quiet when he finished speaking because no one had any idea what the fuck he had just said. You, you're saying... Someone must die! We've killed like 300 people! Yeah, but you didn't know that. So it's different. No, the... Like, like... Some kidding. of them we met! We were on a first name basis with some of them! Why did you kill them? What did they do to you? Fuck with us in any way? <laughs> Yeah, disagree <laughs> on minor points of theology or local Someone governance. Someone must die! Okay, pick a person in this room. I'll kill him. Remember that town full of elves who were like, we'd like to govern ourselves independently? Oh, we're yeah. like, nope, you're all gonna die. I believe our phrase was, we are putting down this heresy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> a sacrifice? Yes. I nominate a Paul Michaud. <laughs> Who? Who? It cannot be merely anyone. I wish it were that easy, but the task required for the martyr is too great. It requires someone with great skill and timing, and I want to kill your daughter. I, I want to point out that the actual joke is, it requires someone with great skill and... <laughs> timing! <laughs> Someone who possesses enough greatness to create a rift in their death large enough for a death knight uh, and, of course, themselves. Okay, we get it. You play Dragon Age. 
They could hear their army celebrating through the city in the city through the windows, but not a sound was made within that room. We're just... Saren looked to Loren and his queen. Both their expressions were as grave as the news they'd just heard. They were the two greatest people <laughs> he knew. <laughs> I bet Ken would volunteer for this in a in a second. And he's pretty great. And he's got really good timing. Yeah. Like, timing is kind of his thing. He's very quick. One of them was going to die, and willingly. Saren's heart wrenched. I will do it. Uh, no, we need someone great. They whipped around to face him. Saren. Uh, adults are talking. I know I'm not as great as you or the queen, but it is because you are great that you must live. I get that I've been nagging you for this entire game, but please, you're our main healer. Erevorn needs great rulers, but it doesn't need me anymore. I want to make this my duty. Ha! Duty. And Sorry. Die as you a saying, slave in place. You were saying something serious. And die as a slave in place of my literal owner. actual owners. Uh, no. I will not let you do it instead. That wasn't this, really my plan. That is not, Ken, the, that is not the tone of voice to take with me right now. <laughs> uh, Loren looked horrified. You do not need to decide now. All of you need to be prepared just in case. Translation Party member number six is someone we don't like that much. Ramus, buddy, you're up. You're in. Welcome <laughs> to the team. All those HR problems we've been having. <laughs> Gonna solve those and prevent a lawsuit. Ramus is our dwarf warrior whose abs are amazing as well, but who has a crush on the other dwarf in our party who is not reciprocal. Not, not terribly. She's certainly, like... There is certainly an imbalance there, and, and yeah. Ramus is having trouble like, man that. managing that, really. Yeah. We cannot rest all of our hopes on just one person, so we're gonna kill all three of you! I was really hoping for Ramus. <laughs> <laughs> they gave up arguing who would sacrifice themselves, as they all agreed to be nominated together. Which one of them would pay the, the highest price was yet to be determined. How dramatic. Yes. I'm betting they're all going to try to commit like a suicide together. I have run that D&D &D combat and it's super awkward. <laughs> it may be best for all of us if we kept this private. It would cause chaos among their comrades if they knew what had to be done. Loren knew that everyone would attempt to sacrifice themselves, just as Saren had done. She'd already made up her mind to become a martyr, but unfortunately, so had Saren and her mother. The door opened and Mirth entered the room. She immediately picked up on the tension and looked around warily. Ray. Ray would not martyr himself. No. Ray, Ray <laughs> would be like, ah, oh, goodbye, suckers. Hey, oh, sorry, someone needs to die. I can make that happen. Yes. <laughs> so I, I thought we were doing the newest touching thing. <laughs> sorry, uh, sacrifice. Absolutely. Which one? Sorry? Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, Mirth. Uh, I'm sorry, I think it's time to start a divination arch was on. Yes, I will accompany you. Mirth and Apollo Show left the room quietly. The three of them stood in silence with each other for a moment longer.